What's up all my fine fine girls? No pimple is with here again with another video. So today I am back with a Bring It Back Thursday video. We are finally back, okay? Um, <laughs> you guys have been asking for these videos for a while now, so we are back. If you guys are new to my channel, Bring It Back Thursday is a series that I started last year on my channel. Basically, it's a way for you to it's a way to encourage you guys to, you know, whip out old palettes that you have in your collection. And if you do want to create a look that I am creating and you don't have the palette, um, I want you guys to find something that you already have in your collection that has similar colors to create the look. You know, it's a way for us to just watch our spending. So, anyways, the palette for today is going to be the Beatdown palette by makeup um Playing a makeup by Yolando in collaboration with Beats by Dev. I have done a tutorial using this palette when it first launched back in 2020. So if you want to take a look at that, you can. But today we are going to be playing with this. And this is the inside of the palette. So of course, before we get into, you know, the look, we have to get into our theme song. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty, so uh, let's go ahead and get into this look. Let me catch my breath. All right, so to prime the eyes, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow base in the shade Medium to go ahead and prime my eyes and I need a mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and I'll be back. All right, so the eyes have been primed. So I kind of have a look in mind um, and I'm hoping it comes out the way I want it to come out. So I'm gonna do an on matte look today. All right, so to begin, I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm going to the shade right here. It's called Cosmetology and I'm going to put this in my crease. I just need something like like a shade right here to blend um, that deep purple into. So I'm not trying to be too heavy handed with this shade. OK, perfect. I just needed like a nice little shade to put down now. So taking this brush right here, this is the Morphe M441. I'm going to go into this dark purple shade called Summer Nights. And I'm going to go ahead and pretty much place that all over my lid. So you guys, um, I think I've come to the terms that I'm just like really tired of wigs. <laughs> like I don't want a wig to see my head for I don't know how long. Like all year long, I've been wearing like either braids or twists. And... I just love it. It's just, it's so much easier. And then especially with like how hot it is, like this is an extremely hot summer. Like here in Texas, we're like in a high of a hundred, like damn near every day. Like I'm, I'm somebody who loves summer, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking forward to September and getting some relief because this heat is too much. And normally it wouldn't bother me, but like, I like to take walks. Like, um, for me, like I've just been enjoying like walking as a workout and I'm somebody that can walk like six, seven, eight miles. And it's kind of hard to do that when it's 100 degrees weather. And normally, like, you know, I would go in the morning, but I start work so early, like, because I'm somebody that likes to go to work really early. Um, so I usually have to go in the afternoon if I want to go work out during the daytime, like go for a walk. And it's just way too hot, like, way too hot. So I'm looking forward to some relief. Now this purple is beautiful. So we're just gonna go ahead and place this all over, just like that. I wanna do like a bold look today. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I used to put down that um, cosmetology cosmetology shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out the, actually I'm gonna take a little bit of cosmetology, like a little bit on the brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out at the top. You guys, so I don't think we're getting any more, like, are we getting any more Mothership palettes? Because normally Pat McGrath puts it out, like, May, June, July. And, um, I don't know. I have not seen any announcements. The same deal the Norvina palettes. Like, the Norvina palettes, she ain't, I don't, I don't know if she stopped at volume six and she's not doing it anymore. But a lot of brands have definitely shifted their focus because they know eyeshadow palettes are just not the way to go. Like... You know, I think everyone has burnt out and is tired. Like, we only can have so much stuff. Like, even ColourPop, who I, you know, I make fun of all the time when it comes to releasing stuff. I mean, they still do, but I don't know. I think everyone is just getting tired. It's just like, <laughs> I think I'm content now. Like, there's there's only so much I can buy. And, I mean, that's why I really love the series of Bring Back Thursday because, you know, let's use the things that we do have. Like, we don't need to always buy, but, I mean, I do want those palettes if they do release them, but I don't know. I think they're done. Okay, so this is blending out really nicely. 
I'm loving it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of that purple nights so that way the purple can still be a little bit more, you know, deep. So actually, you know what? I did grab it this way. Okay, I have an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to place down what I just grabbed that way to kind of like, you know, bring more vibrancy to that purple. Like even trend mood, like I don't like I still follow her. Granted, like, you know, um, Instagram has set up the algorithm to basically like, you know, it shows you what it, what it wants you to see. Like it doesn't show you what you want to see, but it shows you what they want you to see, which is a bunch of reels and stuff and like pages that you don't follow. But um, trend mood, I feel like even she has slowed down in her post. And like, I remember like when her page was really in its like prime, like, I mean, I used to I used to have her notifications on like back in like 2014, 2015, 16, like when she was really at like the height of it, I used to definitely have her page, her notifications turned on because I didn't want to miss anything. Like <laughs> buying makeup back then was like something serious. Like it was like the Olympics, like racing to get it because FOMO was a real thing and you did not want to miss out on the limited edition drop that brands will always do and then they'll bring it back. And it's just like, you've created all this hysteria to just bring something back. <laughs> okay, I love this. This is this is good. This is good. Okay, now I want to cut my crease, right? And let me see. I think I'm gonna take my plain and makeup, plain and makeup by Yolando. That's the name of this brand, right? It's so long. Yeah, plain and makeup by Yolando. All right, so I think I'm gonna take this because this is lighter in color. It's almost like a white consistency. Yeah. And I want something like bright so that way the color that I put on really pops. Like my Makeup Revolution one is good and I could use this, but I really want this color to pop. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease using this. And this is what this color looks like. I want to say she has more shades. Um, what shade do I have though? I have the shade B in case anybody, you know, wants this or, you know. I don't want you buying anything. I mean, if you have something that you can use at home, use that. But um, if you did want like a light primer shade, I have B. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. Okay, so the crease has been cut. All right. Now, what I wanna do, I'm gonna need this brush and I want to take this pink shade all over my lid. And then I wanna put this green shade in my inner corner. That's gonna be pretty, I, I mean, I hope it is. All right, so we're gonna take this pink shade, not this pink shade, we're gonna take this brush. This is the um, MAC 217, and I'm gonna go into the shade called Mean Girls. This is just a bright bubblegum, or not bubblegum pink, that's more of just like a, like a true pink, like this. And we're just gonna place this all over the lid. And you wanna use a brush like this when you want to pack on a matte on your lid, so. I will say this in my videos, get this brush. If you want something not as expensive as a MAC brush, I mean, MAC brush is, well, I don't know what expensive, but if you want something cheaper, um, the Morphe M433 is another alternative. Um, I plan on using this for that other green shade, but yes. I don't even know how much MAC brushes are going for. You know, inflation is real. When I say everything is going up, like it's, it's ridiculous. And especially now that I no longer work at Sephora, like I'm so out of touch with how much things cost because I don't, buy a lot of things anymore like makeup skincare like i kind of like i'm just like a regular person like <laughs> honestly like i shop regular like whenever i need something i read up on it like i'm not somebody that's just constantly buy makeup so when i hear some of the prices like for example right you guys dior lip glow oil apparently is now 40 dollars i remember when this first came out i want to say this was 32 dollars that this the lip glow oil came out what two years ago why is it why is it forty dollars why is lip glow oil forty dollars and the thing is there's such a demand for it like people are buying that stuff i mean granted it's great but i ain't paying forty dollars that was a gift okay that was a gift shout out to amy because <laughs> i'm not buying that oh this is <laughs> this is kind of coming out the way i like and then I want to take this brush that I used to put down the um, Summer Night Shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and like merge these two colors together a little bit better. So it doesn't look like it's just starting and stopping. All right. 
I'm going to take the Morphe M433 now and I'm going to go into this shade called My Slime, which is just like this neon green shade. Like on camera, it looks like a dingy, like light green. But no, you guys, this is neon green, like slime green. All right. And I'm going to coat that really well. And we're just going to go ahead and place this down here. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. Okay. And now, because I didn't want the green to be like this much. Like, I mean, I want it there. I just want some of the pink to kind of come back. So I'm going to go back into that shade Mean Girls. And I'm just going to place a little bit of this over that green shade and slightly like blend this way to blend some of that green into that shade. And then for this side, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this way. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Anastasia gel liner in the shade Jet, just black. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lids. Okay, okay, okay. Should I do like some glitter like there? All right, so what I'm gonna do is, as per usual, I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do the rest of my face, I'll be back to show you guys the completed look, and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look, okay, and I love it, especially with the hair, you guys. <laughs> okay, um, for the bottom eyeshadow, I just took that Summer Night shade and, you know, put it down here, and yeah, I like the way this looks, you know. I wish I had somewhere to go. But I ain't got nowhere to go. But to my bed. <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys. So I hope you guys like this. Comment down below what other palettes you want to see me use for Bring Back Thursday. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It may not be a weekly thing. I'm going to try to aim for every other week. Um, but definitely comment down below what other palettes you would like to see for Bring It Back Thursday. Um, I do plan on doing an updated palette collection. So that way you guys know what I do have in my collection now. But I already have a video up on my channel. So if you want to take a look at that to see my entire palette collection. For the most part, I have added a few more. Um, but a lot of them... Oops, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, goes. you can look at that video to see what I do have in my collection. I do plan on doing an updated one. It just takes a long time to film it and edit it because they're just they're just very, very long. But I do plan on doing that. But yes, comment down below what you want to see next time for a Bring Back Thursday video. Let me know if you plan on recreating this, if you have this palette or, you know, if you have something similar. Yeah, comment down below and also tag me if you do recreate this little Katie's post any pictures tag your roll okay but um yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time i will talk to you videos later bye